I'm going to do a quick video on uh, measuring a, a small part with the Z-Cat. Um, you can see I have this small part clamped into a vise in front of the Z-Cat. And uh, I've had a customer who has a similar part, so I'm going to write a quick program on this part to, uh, to measure it. Um, so first of all, I'm going to measure a plane. So I'm going to click on plane and I'm going to come down here, manually take a few points on the top surface of this part with my vertical probe number one and make that a plane and I'm going to tell that's a reference. So that will make the top of my part zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure one of these radiuses, the larger one of the two. Actually there's multiple radiuses on this part, but I'm just going to do two of them. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it that that is a reference. That will set my zero point. And I'm going to do one more radius here on the other side of the part. Now, I'm also going to construct a line I'm going to say I'm going to construct a line and I'm going to click on the two radiuses. It'll it'll construct a line, a center line between those two radiuses. And I'm going to tell it that's a reference. That will give us all of our, the points that we need. So I've got uh, all of that measured. So I basically I've written a program to measure that part. So I'll go to inspection and hit play. And now you'll see the Z-Cat will go in and it will measure the, the plane on the top of the part. Now it's doing it under direct computer control. I did it manually, but now we're going to get much better accuracy and repeatability because it's going at the same speed on every probe hit. It's going to vector normal to the surface. You can see on the screen the red dot is the probe going on, in this case, the other radius. And now we've measured the part. So if I wanted to start getting my dimensions, um, Let's, let's go ahead and make this plain data maze. So I'll double click on there and then right click and datum A. And I'll go ahead and label it here in my XZ window. Um, I'll make this large diameter datum B. Right click datum B. So I'll label that. I'll go ahead and get that radius if I want to. Double click and draw it out. And maybe this line that we did is going to be datum C. datum C and all we care about is the radius here and now we we have the two radiuses uh, it's very quick but very easily now if I wanted profile I could do that as well double click and then right click and hit profile now since I don't have a CAD model for this part it's going to show it as zero but if I had a step or an I just file for this particular part I could uh, I could also get the profile of my dimensions. So that quick and that easy, I can get these dimensions. Um, and if I wanted to run the program again, I could just come up here and hit play and say, yes, I want to get the statistics. It will measure the part. This could be a second part. But you can see once the program is written, just hitting the play button, as long as the part is positioned back in the fixture properly, it will measure it, give us the results. And we'll get a, uh, a graphic, a red arrow or a green arrow. A green arrow will tell us intolerance, a red arrow will be about of tolerance. I could also bring up a quick report on this. So here's an individual report is telling us we passed and I can go to multi-component report and every part I've measured would then uh, give us a result. So that quick, so within a few minutes, I can actually write a program, measure the part and get the results um, on that part. Um, and we're less than five minutes into this. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can always contact me. Thank you.